Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. A question in from Akul Sekri. I hope I'm saying that right, Akul. Uh, after months of research, I've narrowed it down to three options and I need help choosing. I'll be shooting landscape, portraits, and a little bit of street. First option, Nikon D7200, Sigma 17-50, to f2.8, 50mm f1.8G, and I'll have three to $400 to spare. Or I can get a 50mm f1.4, but I've heard there's not a big difference between the 50mm f1.4 and the f1.8, and other suggestions for a lens are around $300 to $400 would be great. Also, second option, Nikon D7200, Tokina 1116, uh, f2.8, 35 f1.8G, DX, Nikon 50mm f1.8G. I like this setup for the fact I'll have to constantly switch lenses if I, um, except for the fact that I'll have to constantly switch lenses if I'm to take landscape and portrait on a trip. Third option, Nikon D610, Nikon 50mm f1.8. I'd love to know your thoughts and thanks in advance. Hmm. Great choice of cameras all three are fine or, or all the both of them are fine you get two 7200 options i love the 7200 and i love the 610 um you sh you're shooting landscapes portrait and a bit of street um because of your budget here i'm actually gonna go 7200 my initial gut reaction was to go 610 because i love the 610 but if your budget's going to reduce you down to one lens, and albeit the 50mm f1.8G is a great lens, one of my favorite all-time lenses, um, I think you're a little a little hamstrung for lenses there because you that's that's hard to cover landscape portraits and a bit of street with the D610 and a 50. I'm not saying you couldn't do it, but it really it does limit you. I would go um, landscape portraits and a bit of street. I'm actually going to go a little different than any of your recommendations. I'm going to go D7200. I'm going to go Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8. Great lens. Add the 50mm f1.8G because to answer your other question, the only thing you're getting is speed on the f1.8 4. And I don't think it's that big a difference between f1.4 and f1.8. Uh, I would save the money and get the f1.8G unless you're absolutely convinced you need the f1.4. But I'll, I'll, the f1.8G is an amazing lens it's actually arguably sharper has essentially the exact same quality of bouquet it's a little bit sharper i would say and beautiful performer for the price so 7200 sigma 17 to 50 nikon 50 mil f1.8 g and then i would add a wide and what i would go with there is the sigma 10 to 20 for price if you can afford it if you've got enough left in there and you may i think you may with the three to four hundred to spare um, get the Sigma 8 to 16. That's my preferred. So my, my total preferred setup for you is the 72, Sigma 8 to 16, um, Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8, and the Nikon 50mm f1.8G. That gives you a very, very well-rounded kit. It uh, you know covers you for everything, for landscapes, portraits, and a bit of street. You got a very fast prime. You got a very, you know, an f2.8 zoom. So a fast um, standard zoom. And you've got a very, very good uh, ultra wide angle in the Sigma 8 to 16. So that's where the, the route I would go. And um, I will go the 1020 Sigma if you can't afford the 8 to 16 at the moment. And then you can always sell it later and upgrade later. Um, and if you need to save a little money, I would still buy those lenses and drop down to the D7100. Because the, the advantage of the 72, you're not shooting sports or anything fast. And really, the advantage is the 72 over the 71. The, the, the one key advantage is a deeper raw buffer and the ability to shoot a little faster. So if you're not shooting any action or moving stuff where you need to you need to shoot fast, 7100 is going to give you everything you get out of the 72. Um, so you can buy the 7100 on a refurb for like half the price, get all the lenses I'm recommending here and some. You could probably still have money left. That's the route I would go. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go that route? Would you go the 71 over the 72 and those lenses? Would you go the 72 instead with these lenses? Or do, is there different lenses you would recommend? Would you not go with one of those crop sensor cameras? Would you prefer he goes with the 610? Leave your answers in the in the comments below. Let us know what you would do and why. Let's help out Akul. And uh, thanks for your question, Akul. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.